Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. In this video, we'll be looking at adding a conditional clause to our images. And if you're familiar with uh, Excel or any other programming languages, you've probably used an if statement in the past. Let's head over to the documentation for Power Apps. I'll include this documentation in our um, video description, but you can see over here, we have a syntax for the if statement. So if there is a condition, then there will be a result. Otherwise, we'll have a default behavior. In conjunction with the if statement, we will be using is blank. Um, if you click on the link over here, you can see the option for is blank and the overview gives you a description of it. So basically, if there is a condition that is blank, so in our case, if there is no, no image, it would return true. And based on that, we will uh, have a placeholder image that will be used in our application. Otherwise, we will use the image that's in SharePoint. So if we look at SharePoint, we can scroll all the way down and you can see I have an image over here that's called no image. If you click on it, you can see this is what the image will look like. Um, we need to copy this URL because we will be using it in our application. But if you're going to use the URL, you need the original URL and you need to click on view original. And this will display the image without any formatting. And what we can do, we can uh, select that and we can press Control C to copy. And this will be copied to our clipboard. So let's go back over to our application. And if we click on the image, you can see over here we have the, the image with the function for for setting the image, which is this item dot image. And what I'd want to do is remove that. So let's put in our if statement if. Uh, let's just close the, the brackets and put in another uh, another function, which is is blank. So is blank. You can see it puts in the um, suggestion for what we want underneath the text that we're typing. And if we select is blank, and let's just close the bracket again, and we can say is blank. And the condition that we're checking or the value that we're checking is this item dot image. Great, and what we need to do after the after the bracket, we press uh, a comma and we will add uh, quotation marks. And inside those quotation marks, we will paste the URL that we copied. Let's go back off to, to the end of the quotation mark. We need to add another, another bracket, another comma, and we will say this item.image. So it's a bit difficult to check uh, from, from here, but if we click on the image and we click on the drop down, it gives us a little bit more space and we can actually see the function that we're writing. So basically we check in for a condition and that condition is checking if the image is empty. If it is empty, we will use this image over here. Otherwise the default image will be the value of what's stored in this item image. Let's actually close that and click on the background here. You can see some of the images are displayed. And if we click on the play button, you can see our images are being displayed. Let's scroll down until we find an image without uh, any image. So this one over here, Deborah from the IT department, uh, her email address is deborah.wheeler at webysolutions.com and she has no image selected. Um, and all the other IT all the other employees without an image will have your default image. I use this image from SharePoint. Um, you can use any image you want. It can be on the public web. The link can be on the public web or can be from SharePoint. As I use mine in SharePoint, you can also do that. Before we finish off here, I just want to give a word about the, the images. I noticed some uh, some of the images are taking long to load. So when you, you can see the loads, load speed for the images is quite long. So maybe, I will delete all of the image that, that I've uploaded and I will add a, a, a lower quality or smaller size image so that it will load a lot quicker. So just check that you not adding images that are too big because this will take too long for your application to load and it will slow it down. So in this video, it was a quick one, but I think an important video and we looked at the if statement and is blank. 
two very important functions and I'm sure we'll use it in future applications. If you like this video, let me know what you think and give it a like and I will see you in the next video.